Hello everybody, today we're using TubTop to create paragraphs. So what is TubTop? TubTop is the idea that you can start a new paragraph every time you write about a time, place, topic or person. Why do we use TubTop? Using TubTop adds structure to your writing and it separates your story by ideas. When we add structure and separate ideas, stories become easier to read and engage the reader. Let's have a look at an example. Taika was a third generation monster slayer. He was the youngest brother of seven and the last son. His father always told him he would do great things with his life. However, Taika was terrified he wouldn't live up to his father's legacy. Taika grew up in a small seaside village, famous for its sweet eel and cabbage tree roots. The village sat in a small cove beside glistening blue waters and lined with native bush. Suddenly, Taika's father asked him to go to a neighbouring village to investigate the tanifa in the river. Nervously, Taika nodded and listened to his father. Tanifas were not to be messed with. The next day, Taika packed up his things to go on a journey. Despite being scared, he knew he could defeat this foe and make his father proud. So what we're going to do with this example is we're going to use a tip-top method to separate to separate it into four separate ideas. One idea about the character or the person, one idea about the village or the place, one idea about the topic, the thing that happens, and one idea uh, about time. So, person. Taika was a third generation monster slayer. These sentences here are all about Taika as a character, uh, Taika as a person. When you have one or two different people or characters in your story, especially main characters, it is a good idea to separate them into different paragraphs describing them. Taika grew up in a small seaside village. So this here is all about Taika's village, where he grew up. If you have three or four really important places in your story, it's a good idea to separate them in paragraphs and describe each place in great detail. Suddenly, Taika's father asked him to go to a neighbouring village to investigate the Tanifa in the river. This is a change in topic. Previously, we were talking about Taika as a character, then Taika when he grew up, and then suddenly we're talking about uh, the, uh, where he has to go. We've changed the topic. Lastly, time. The next day. The next day is a time marker. There are several time markers we can use. Last year next week in a hundred years. These are all time markers we can use. When we use a new time marker or separate things by time, it's a good idea to create a new paragraph as to not confuse the reader. Tips, tricks and ideas. When you write, it's a when you write, it's good to separate ideas in the planning stage. Okay, so how many ca main characters are you going to have and how many paragraphs are you going to have for each main character? How many settings are you going to have? Are you going to have two settings? Each setting needs its own paragraph. What information are you going to put in those in those setting paragraphs? Think about a structure suitable for your writing. So if you're writing a narrative, does it have a beginning, middle and end? What happens in the beginning, what happens in the middle and what happens in the end? In the beginning, maybe we talk about the character and the place and we introduce uh, one of the topics. In the middle, maybe we can have more detail about the setting or the place and more ideas about the topic. In the end, maybe we can talk about how everything's resolved. In the beginning, middle and end, each, play, each part needs to have two or three different paragraphs. All right, that's all. Thank you. Bye.